So hi friends, in this video I will be showing you how you can uninstall Ubuntu or you can say Linux operating system for your computer from your computer and install Windows 10. Uh, look Ubuntu or Linux is a very good operating system. Personally I really like that operating system but it is very limited when it comes to installing softwares that we need for our day day to day life linux doesn't support that software so that is why i am going to uninstall ubuntu and you can also follow the same steps that i am going to perform here to uninstall ubuntu or linux operating system for your computer and then uh, to install windows 10 so let's get started so first of all you will be required to create a bootable pen drive of windows 10 you can create this bootable pen drive by vi directly visiting windows 10 official website there you will get a software to create uh, create a bootable pen drive okay i have already published a video on this topic uh, to know if, i mean if you want to know how you can create this bootable pen drive for windows 10 or you can uh, say 11 you can watch that video and you can create a bootable pen drive so it is the first requirement you will be required to create a pen drive a bootable pen drive of windows 10 i have already covered this topic in another video so you can watch that video and create a bootable pen drive after creating the bootable pen drive come back to this video and watch the next steps to remove ubuntu from your operating system okay so after uh, creating this pen drive bootable pen drive just connect it to your computer in which you have installed ubuntu or you can say linux operating system and after that you have to access boot menu of your computer okay to access boot menu you have to press f8 f10 f12 or delete or escape okay uh, it depends upon your the uh, brand of your motherboard i mean whatever motherboard brand you have installed in your computer it depends upon that which key you have to press okay uh, i mean in my case i have to press dell dell key from my keyboard to access boot menu so before you go further just check what motherboard you have and then on the internet find which key you have to press to access boot menu of your motherboard okay this is the second requirement after knowing which key you have to press just connect this pen drive that you have created bootable pen drive just connect it to your computer and then start press start button okay after pressing instantly after pressing the start button you have to press the boot menu key for example in my case i have this dell i have to press this dell key to access boot menu okay let me show you the steps okay i'm going to press start button for my computer and instantly when it starts i will start pressing this dell key okay okay see i will keep pressing the start button and after uh, once i got this boot menu option i can stop pressing the key okay so as i said for from uh, in some computers you have to press f8 in some you have to press f12 in some uh, i mean 10 f12 and in some escape it depends upon the brand uh, motherboard uh, motherboard brand you have in your computer okay so after that the uh, third step is what you have to do you have to make your usb pen drive as your first boot as you can say priority or whatever you can uh, say okay i what i want to say you have to select usb pen drive as your first boot option okay so it also depends upon the motherboard which you have for example in some motherboards you can get this option in boot device priorities and in uh, for in my case i am getting this option in hard drive, hard disk drives okay so again what all you need to do doesn't matter what motherboard you have these options may be different in your computer just you have what you have to do you have to find this option here first drive second drive third drive okay whatever i don't care whatever motherboard you have all you need to do just go 
back and check over the options and just find this option first drive second drive and third drive in first drive as you can see this drive is selected i have to change this drive and i have to change it to the bootable pen drive as you can see i have selected usb sand disk okay i have selected this pen drive as because in this pen drive i have windows 10 so after selecting this pen drive or just forget all the other options ignore all the options and then press f10 key from f10 key as you can see here 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 we can see press f12 to save okay so i'm going to press f12 and done okay now you don't have to do anything just wait just wait don't press any key just wait okay as you can see i got the options now select which operating system you have to install 64 bit or 34 bit let me select 64 bit now you can see window 10 is being installed okay just uh, watch further video i i mean don't just stop this video here because in the next step you may face another problem and i will show you the solution of that problem in this video also okay just keep watching this video just as you can see files are just being loaded on your my computer it just preparing for installation okay so you all i think i you are also already aware of these things as i said if you don't know how to create a bootable pen drive you can watch my video that uh, whose link is available in the description below as you can see now we got the windows icon uh, due to this camera settings you may be <laughs> seeing it white but let me let me clear okay okay we got the option just select your appropriate i mean whatever settings you need just select them and click on next button now press install now as i said linux is really very a uh, nice system but due to the software limitations i'm uninstalling it okay here if you have uh, your product key you can enter here or you can simply click i don't have a product key here i'm not going to enter my product key here uh, you know these <laughs> this limb will be uh, okay you can understand what i would like to say so if you have your product key you can enter here to activate your windows if you don't have and you want a trial version of your computer uh, windows 10 then then simply click i don't have a product key okay now select the operating system that you need to install i am going to select windows 10 pro okay now click on next so now click accept and con uh, next and now you have two options you need to select the second one custom install windows only now you go to the pen, uh, drives that you have on your computer and just select the drive that you want to uh, in which you want to install windows 10 so i would like to suggest you select that drive in which you have ubuntu installed uh, this is the drive in which i would like to install windows 10 and this is the same drive in which i have installed ubuntu how would i know because that pen uh, that drive size was uh, 120 gb so i got uh, i just got the idea this is the drive in which i have to install windows 10 after that we have to format our pen drive as you can see i cannot format as you can see here the option windows can in, uh, be installed on drive 0 partition 3 okay so this is the uh, this was the error i was discussing earlier uh, that i told you you would uh, you would face or you may face or you may not face this problem if you are not facing this problem and you are getting the format option just click on this option and uh, all done okay if you are seeing this error as i am seeing all you need to do uh, do press windows this windows plus 10 button or uh, i mean windows plus f10 button press 
oh i am sorry shift plus f10 you have to press shift plus f10 button from your keyboard okay and then you will uh, get this okay command box now first you type here i will uh, write the commands that you need to type in the description you can check the so first command is disk part okay we are going out of focus don't worry don't worry. okay 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 so after typing disk part okay disk part is selected now type list disk list disk okay now press enter now we go to the disk that we have on our computer okay now you need to press uh, uh, the let me see this is the drive that we need to format 120 gb that drive okay whatever the list of drives you are getting you need to uh, identify which drive you have to uh, format okay we are going to format the, that drive so make sure you don't have any important data in that drive okay if you have just cancel all these things and uh, back up that data and then come back to this video okay this is the disclaimer and i am not responsible for your data i am going to uh, i am clarifying if you have any important data in your cup and drive go back and back up that data and come back okay i will come back to this video okay so we need to select disk zero as you can see this is the drive disk zero i need to select okay we are going to format disk zero so i'm going to click uh, type select we are going to select disk zero okay select disk okay number disk zero okay just in case for example in case let's suppose your uh, the drive you would like to format is disk one in that case you will type here one okay in my case i have zero okay i'm going to type zero enter okay so as you can see in disk zero is now the selected disk okay now the next step is type just type clean okay c l e a n so clean means we are going to format this drive okay as you can see disk part succeeded in cleaning the disk okay so next command we need to type create disk part pre okay create part pre and press enter okay okay i'm sorry i'm sorry we don't need to do this just press exit okay just follow this uh, for till this okay uh, you need to follow for this i mean uh, only you need to press clean and then after ignore this step just press exit okay you don't need to do anything uh, next okay leaving now press exit again that is it now you can see we don't uh, still we don't have uh, of format option here so what we are going to press refresh button okay now we pressed refresh button and i am going to select this option and as you can see now i got the option format now i am going to format this drive okay it is formatted now now we are going to click on next button and that is it you can see our window is now being installed that is it all you need to do this and now window will automatically be installed and then in the next steps you can set up your windows and you can arrange the settings now you don't have to do anything okay i assume you know the next steps okay thank you very much for watching this video